Hi, my name is Ronan Cashel from IT Integrated Business Solutions and today I'm putting together a mini screencast on how to execute externally stored SQL statements in MySQL and in particular from the MySQL prompt. There are two ways in which you can execute externally stored SQL statements. The first option being using redirection of the standard input. Typically the command will look something like this mysql minus u username minus d database minus p for the password with the less than symbol. This less than symbol reads the contents of file name and pushes them into mysql. Using this method you need to either have the minus d with the database or the first line in file name should contain the use and then the database name. The second option is from the MySQL prompt. You can either use the shortcode method which is backslash dot and then the file name or source and the file name. The big advantage of using the MySQL prompt method allows you to log in to MySQL, select the database and being reassured that you're in the correct database to execute the commands. Now let's have a quick look at a demonstration. I've In this demo I've created two files, one called test.sql and the second one test1.sql. test.sql just contains a select statement. The test1.sql has a use and then the database name followed by the SQL statement that we need executed. If we were to use MySQL prompt simply passing in test.sql this will fail because no database has been selected. In this case what we need to do is we need to add the minus D option followed by the database name and then we can redirect the test.sql statement to execute. This works fine. Alternatively with test1.sql we have the use test as the first line in the file in which case we can simply execute this as follows and this will execute in the same way. The other methods involve us logging into MySQL and here we can use test, use the test database and we can simply use execute the test.sql file or in this case it won't make any difference using the source and likewise we can even use the test1.sql because the first statement will simply put us back into the same database so we will use test1.sql database was changed and it is executed I hope you've enjoyed this mini presentation and join us again for more presentations on MySQL